afternoon and welcome to Women at the Frontline. My name is Monica Modin, your host for this program. I'm delighted you are here with us this uh, afternoon, wherever you're watching us and the time zone in which you are in. I am delighted to be having a very great woman in Uganda, in this country, Uganda, a politician. And I think in all her life, I've known her as a politician. But today I'll find out what else she does besides politics. I'd like you to welcome with me, Honorable Salam Musumba. We'll just get right into there because the chat is what we are looking forward to and pick out a few things that will inspire you. As you know, our program is about bringing to you women that inspire, that are changing lives, that are impacting society, doing various things to make our world a better place. And my duty is to find such women. And this afternoon, I have Honorable Salam Musumba. And uh, Honorable, you're welcome. Thank you very much, <laughs> my dear. Do you know how tense I am? No, please relax. <laughs> relax. <laughs> this is your sister. Because then And we're I, talking about us. I am looking at yourself, and when I reviewed your profile shortly before coming here, mm. I was like, wow. I actually had a sigh of, you know, of wow. Oh, and I was like, I'm going to meet a great woman. And the things she's been able to do in this country, I don't know even how to bring them out in this interview but you've given me the the go ahead to relax and have a chat conversation and that's what our program is really about i'd right. like to to really pick out a few things from your life as you walk us through your journey and then point out those key lessons that somebody who is out there who is uh, hearing the name salam musumba would like to you know learn and pick Growing up as a girl, you know, aspiring to be a politician as well. That <laughs> name, <laughs> Salam, sounded so strongly in my mind. And yeah. I aspired to be like you. You did? Yes, I did. Wow. And I'm glad how to be nice, talking to nice. you. How nice, how nice. Yes. Uh, yes. So, yeah, I would like to just start from maybe uh, ground zero in terms of some of your moments, best moments that you can pick from growing up. Uh, we want to connect the young Salam and then the politician that we have now you know in that conversation thank you very much monica yeah, yeah. and thank you all of our all of you mm. who are watching us yeah who take interest in understanding uh the the software we are made of yes as and women. the hardware we are <laughs> uh, as women uh monica i will be 60 years next year is that so i will be 60. wow and i'm walking so carefully to get to that and proudly mm. so proudly so that's why i did i share it uh, because it's a big milestone in our life, it is. in my life, mm. and a big milestone in my career, absolutely, and in my politics. Mm, 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 and mm. this is what I want to share with you, mm. because that is the best gift I can give to the women. You've done great things. You have done great things, and we cannot help but try to, you know, pick in into your life and see how has she been able to do it. Yes. Sixty years. Sixty. Oh my God, I yeah. can't wait. Yeah. I'll be partying for three days. I'll have a party for three I days. I hope that we can be invited uh, I will to invite that. you and yeah. you're all invited. Yeah. Because I don't want you guys to, to, to be out there worried about age. I, I feel 30. I feel, I feel 30. Yeah. Uh, and when I tell you I'm 60, I'm sure you say, oh my God, it can't be. Also, I used to think that 60 was so was big, so big. <laughs> until, yeah, I number. Um, until mm. I'm walking into mm. it. Mm. But age is only a it's number. It's only a number. My it's attitude number. is as youthful and as resourceful mm. as it has always been. Of course, we still expect a lot from you. And I'm still here yes. to, 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 to provide uh, what mm. you expect mm. and more. Mm. Uh, because I have taken time to talk to myself, mm. to reflect on my journey, to, to think through... Uh, my mission in life, mm -hmm. and uh, life just begins for me. Absolutely. Mm. Uh, you have largely known me as a political person, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm largely a professional. My biggest pride is being a policy analyst. Okay. I'm able to work through all those different aspects connecting of the anything. Dots. I connect mm. the dots, mm. and I get the bigger picture. Okay. So I'm always dealing with the bigger picture. The bigger picture. I'm not petty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And some people don't like me because I brag about it. Mm. I'll mm. go to my to my grave bragging about it mm. because uh, knowledge and the knowledge world is the business I deal in. Wow. 
we'll get back to that shortly mm. because then we wanted to pick that other life of yours you mm. know politics what other career but also you know linking it to what we really want to pick in terms of helping some other young woman or politician or other career you know professional out there mm. on those landmarks of your life so i just wanted to take you what a bit a step back to your life because we hardly get to know that well the first thing yeah. you need to know is mm. that i was born a girl mm. <laughs> not <laughs> okay <laughs> my gender is female of course uh and uh, i have grown uh in a in a in a in a, in a, a, a community where girls are second second class in yeah in society I was born mm. a year after our independence as a country. In 1962. And so three. I must mm. have been born uh, with the hopes mm. and aspirations of a better Uganda. The, the dream of the Uganda. The dream the, of Uganda. The, 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 yeah. uh, the country mm -hmm. that was undergoing trans transformation from colonial power to self to self rule mm -hmm. to self governance so we can say your birth was prophetic in a way i think yeah. so because i know i occupy a place a privileged place and a space mm -hmm. that i want to use to the best mm -hmm. of humanity mm -hmm. and so uh i i was born in kamuli my village is namwendwa uh, i won't call it as a rural place because we have had electricity all my life. Mm -hmm. We have had telephone services all my life. Mm. We have had uh, health facilities all my life. Mm. 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 I want to tell you uh, that I was not born in poverty. Mm -hmm. No, mm. I mm. wasn't. Mm. But I, also st I wasn't also born in privilege. Yeah. Uh, but that has shaped me to who I am today. Uh, my parents were ah professionals. They are still alive. I am lucky to have my mother wow. and father still. Wow, with that's me. a blessing. It's a huge blessing. Mm. Mm. I never talked about them much mm -hmm. because <laughs> I want you to, know you are this figure that overshadows them. everyone yeah, I want, else. I in want the... to keep my father. <laughs> I want to keep my mother yeah. as the the treasure mm -hmm. uh, of who I am. Um, I went to. I started local. I never, there were no nursery schools, mm. but I, I need really to honor my mother because I, with hindsight, as a mother, yeah, uh, she used to tell us stories. That was early childhood oh development God. or education. We, we, we had a timetable where my mother would give us, uh, would, would, would tell us stories. Mm -hmm. Maybe they were lullabies mm. to make us mm. uh, go to bed. But I enjoyed that story time. Mm. She sang for us. She taught us how to sing. And uh, she built a big story in our brain. Yeah. And I haven't had the time to do that for my children. I, I feel don't so even, bad. I don't even I remember so bad. those, uh, you know, and stories. And every day yeah. I woke up, my mother, I was sure my mother would be home. Wow. I was sure that uh, when I knocked my, myself in the corner of the house, I would cry to my mother she would be at home. And uh, for me, I've been a, largely an absentee mother. In our times, it's very and, common. And uh, I, mm. I regret that part of it. Mm. Mm. Because as women, we should be present in, our, in the lives of our children. The constant figures. We must be the constant, the stabilizer. Mm. Mm. And so, uh, I didn't go to nursery school because there was none. So my nursery teacher was my was mother. Mm. And uh, I also remember my father. Uh, what I turned out to be was also largely my father. Mm. Because my father bathed me. That is the best time. Remember that time the that second was class the best position time. women had, girl child. Yes, you know? that was the best time. Uh, I remember that was the closest with my father to bathe me. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised recently when she was talking about me and said, well, I used to bathe my children. It, it was, that too was special for him. That, is, that yeah, was special that for is, him. Mm. But I also occupy a uh, a very central uh, place in my family because I'm the firstborn, mm -hmm. and I was brought up as a firstborn. Yes, with all when that, my children, yes. when mm. my siblings uh, were never were 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 naughty, I received were, the sanction. Okay, so I was taught early in my life to be the leader. 
of the park. Mm, you commanded everybody yes, else. Yes, I had to make sure everything was right. Running. Uh, if it wasn't right mm. and running, mm. I would pay the price. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and my siblings too were taught early enough that there was a, a chain of command mm. and I was ahead of mm. the pack. Mm. That's why I don't run away from responsibility. Always, anywhere. Always, mm. anywhere, mm. because I was, uh, I was um, uh, brought up uh, that way. So we can actually conclude that your family setting, your growing up was very, very important in shaping the who you became. No, I grew in up in many, many places, mm -hmm. but the starting point it's the starting point. Mm. The starting point where I started is, is what triggered the next step. The next step in life. Mm. Because we go through steps. We go through steps. The next step in life was school. I attended a boys' school. Those were the times when girls and boys uh, attended different attended schools, different schools okay. where Catholics and other religions attended different schools. So I attended a Catholic school for boys. I went to the boys section. Why? When there were so many? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was abominable at that time. Yeah, because there were so many well, girls on the, the school. That, 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 because it was a local school, the girls that were there were big girls. Ah. Big girls. Okay. And uh, I think... Uh, because my parents had, my father only had girls at that time. So I'm sure he didn't know how to deal with. How to deal with To it. deal with girls. Mm -hmm. And so he did what he, he knew. Mm. So I went to a boys' school. Mm. I was there in primary one, uh, primary two. Uh, then my father, I think, was... Uh, so were you the only girls in those classes? We were not many. Mm, we were we like were three or four. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we were three and four of, of the girls coming from specific families. Mm -hmm. Because our parents could risk taking us to those to, the, to that gender. Mm. Because other other families would not want to risk their children into. But we were too young to. Yeah, of course. So at that time, I think the innocence it's the innocence really, itself mm, uh, is there mm. uh, leveraged us. Mm. But also, we were children of big people. Okay. So we 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 banked on that security. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, as I was growing up, I think my father wanted wanted me, wanted to, to secure me out of the vagaries of the village. Mm. Uh, and so uh, he took me to St. Teresa Primary School, Namagonga. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yes. I was hearing them talk about it over supper, how they would want to take me to a boarding school. I thought a boarding school meant heaven, how they wanted me to excel yeah. and uh, how I was going to boarding school. Mm, it was a, mm. a mavo, the village. Ooh, that was big It was then. big. Boarding school. I was going to boarding school. Yeah. So my father comes home one evening and says, between Nam Nagalama and Namagunga. Which one? Which one? Do you choose? Well, how was, I, how was I supposed to do that? So mm -hmm. I went into rhythm. Namagunga, Namagunga Nagalama. Nagalama, which sounded better. <laughs> You didn't know which one was I didn't better. Know which, I didn't know which better. So it, my intuition uh, led me into Namagonga. I said I'll go to Namagonga. Okay. Uh, but also my father was teaching me, I think. Choice. Uh, uh, Freedom. Choice. Mm. To, to make the right choices yes. in my life. Leading. Leading you know. and mm. also uh, being confident yeah. that I, 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 I go with what I have chosen. Absolutely. So I went to Namagonga for an interview. Uh, the girl who was coming from Chirichi Primary School was taken back to P1. Yourself? Yes. I was going to P3. I had passed to go to P3 ah. in my village school, Chirichi Primary School. So because now I was elevated. Ah, that was Would bad. you call that one middle income class now? <laughs> not, not yet. <laughs> so that I is was, forcing, uh, you know, the child to go to, okay, well, no, that was a I, I, I had to go hmm. and start a new life. Yeah. And I should start from the beginning. From the beginning. So they took me to P1 in Namagunga Primary. Uh, Namagunga Primary, P1, I spent just... A week and then you were moved i was moved okay 
because I knew everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was moved to P2. Mm -hmm. What I understood with hindsight, what I am able to make from that, is that the standard of education between Namagunga and, and Chidichi, Chidichi Primary School, yeah. they were at pa. When I went to P1 no, in 1971. And then you had to go back. Yes, I ended up in P3. Back to P3. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. You can now. imagine coming mm. from a village mm. school mm. and meeting the town schools, the high class. The high class. The high class. Mm -hmm. And we are at par intellectually. But it looks like at that time the education sector it, didn't have this inequalities. Just, it just didn't look like there was one Uganda and <gasps> one people and one system for okay. all of us. Okay, okay, right. Yes, we agree with that. Totally, we agree because right and now, I'm a living testimony mm, of it. Mm, That's mm. why whenever I go to my village school, I I I am so emotional mm -hmm. that you have created another class of people of people mm. of underprivileged mm. uh, 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 out of geography. Mm, mm, mm. Because I was able to live Namwendo Chidichi Primary School and come to come Mukono to Namagunga. in Namagunga, yeah, one of the best schools then. Wow. So, I did my years. Finished your primary? Yes. Mm -hmm. The most important thing you should note from, from my primary school in Namagunga mm. is that I was in school with the children of the, of the, of the cream de la cream. I mean, that, that was the real gist. Because then, at that time, children crisscrossed from different parts of the country to another. And you're all in the same environment. That's why I don't know about mm. social segregation. Mm -hmm. And in Namagunga Primary, you you did not carry anything from home. You just walked to the school. The way you are. And the, the school way will you take are. care of you. And uh, so I met, I met so many uh, the, the people that I would refer to as my sisters today. We met at school because seven years uh, in Namagunga Primary, turns you into sisters, mm. really. Mm. And we were a school of about 300 kids. So each of us knew, knew the other. Each other. That's and small, we knew each other's small, stories yeah. and family and stuff. <clears throat> yeah. So in that school, I went to, I was with uh, um, Idi Amin, the president. Wow. Uh, his children, we had eight girls there. Wow. All the ministers. Their children went to Were there with us. Yeah. We had the Bataringa. Yes. Mm. We had the, the Amins, we had the Wakweas. And you are this girl from Chidichi. This Namagunga girl you know? was there. We had the Maria Nasalis, we had oh. the Nava Nava Gesserans. You know? Those are big people, big Those names, were big, big names. families. Those were big families. Mm. Mm. There were many. When I'm celebrating my 60 years, I'm inviting them all. Those are my it's girlfriends, a blessing, they are my sisters. Certainly, to, to be so alive. So anyway, mm. that experience of rubbing, uh, of, of sharing mm. a, a, a space with the big and mighty mm -hmm. uh, is no more. Was no more. It's no more. Mm. So for me, when I say people carrying themselves in high class, I say, just look at this. I know. What does it mean? Uh. Because in Namagunga, we were taught so many things. Um, uh, the biggest of them was faith. And humility, I read in your profile, a lot yes. of it. You faith, have that, uh, you know. We, we, you are ordinary. ordinary, you are a person, mm -hmm. the bottom line. Mm. I don't know where my sister Genevieve is, but I wish her well mm. and I want to thank her. Really, mm. that lady, she would, she would, she would talk to us every, every morning. Uh, and impart a lot of values in us. So the, it had a normalizing effect on me, wow. a humility mm, thing on mm, me, mm, because mm. it didn't matter who you who are, you where are? you are from, as long as you entered that space. Humanity. You mm, became, mm. you had the yeah. opportunity to be what you are. Okay. We had a band as well. I'm a musician. Is that so? Yes. I was in the school band. Have I ever had you sing in any way? <laughs> I mean, those are the things we just I, bury. I'm they say when you, we I die. I was in the school choir. You know? mm. We came for all the festivals here mm -hmm. at the National Theatre. 
Uh, we used to play for President Idi Amin. Wow. Uh, whenever he was flying past our school to go to, to because at that time he was preparing the the OAU meeting. The first one. The first one. And mm. so he used to come by helicopter okay. uh, on his way. So he would stop to say hello to his children. children. And we were all his children. He was a practical father. Oh, he was a father. Mm. That's one thing mm. that people don't know. He mm. was a father. Mm. And I was a special friend of two of the children. Wow. Uh, one was Salam Sida. Mm -hmm. Another one was um, Farida. Mm. That was... Uh, that was Kadara. Wow. That was Kide. Mm. Mm. Uh, later we met with Mariam. And uh, their brothers used to come and visit. Home. And uh, visit uh, their, <laughs> their sisters and they would greet us. Imagine. Yeah. As simple as like that. Like the Ambires were too. Ah. Yeah, the night, night, uh, night. Now we don't name. even know the, the first children. You can't even know who they are very easily. N well, you know, because mm. of, the, of the sirens. <laughs> but these ones were, were ordinary. Were ordinary yeah. kids like all of us. Wow. And and we were really buddies. Mm, mm, we were mm. really buddies. Okay, you've concluded primary school probably. I then crossed. How did that primary environment uh, shape your, you know? There was perfection in that school. Mm -hmm. Every day we had to clean the compound. Mm. And it had to be spotlessly Need, clean. Yes. Mm. And so we used to use our fingers. You see this finger? Everything. Walk mm. through the grass mm -hmm. and pick everything. everything. It taught me cleanliness and perfection, which has, which has, which, which is a good attribute that we, but which today's society mm -hmm. condemns mm -hmm. as uh, showing mm -hmm. off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Godliness. Oh. Is it cleanliness godliness. is next to godliness? Godliness. Yeah. Order. Mm -hmm. Because I remember there was an eclipse of the sun, the total eclipse of the sun. Mm. And we were told nev not to look up. Oh. We, were, we were shut. We were put into the hall, the main hall, and closed in and said, please don't look anywhere. Don't harm yourself. Your eyes and everything. Every mm. day we mm. went for mass mm. up. Because he said, now Namagunga has put a chapel. Uh, inside the school, but then we had to share the the the, the church with the rest of um, of the, the community, community of Namagunga. And the community in Namagunga was a labor community. Mm. Uh, the ones that were picking tea. Okay. Picking tea ah, in uh, in, in the Kasaku, in yeah. Kasaku, mm. or doing sugar cane in ah, Monaco. Mm. So it was a labor yeah. a labor camp yeah. like thing. Yeah. Uh, then it taught me prayer mm -hmm. because every day we had to go for mass. Mm -hmm. uh, it taught me resilience Absolutely. because every day we had to bathe cold water. And Namagunga In the morning, is very cold. At five o'clock. Very, very cold. <laughs> um, it taught me friendship yeah. because I had no sister, no brother, nobody else. I had my buddies. Anybody uh, as wow. they are welcome wow. each other. Wow. would like to see how uh, now you move on with your education. After that, you are now at un almost second and then university. I before. crossed the road mm. to St. Mary's College, Namagonga. Just across. Okay. Mm. And there, we, the community widened. We, we, were, in, we, we were in, in community mm. with mm. other same kids that ethics. had come from yeah from, the other uh, side from uh, Uganda mm -hmm. Road, Nakasero, mm -hmm. uh, Namunyumia, <laughs> other Catholic <laughs> schools. Uh, we were there now. with a new community, an oh, expanded yeah. Catholic yeah. community. Yeah. And uh, because as we were coming from a sister school, mm. uh, the rest of the kids didn't like us much. Uh, they thought we had an air of entitlement. Yeah. We were goody goodies. Goody goodies together, we knew everything sticking, else together. sticking together. But that's uh, the uh, social security, that's what. But later we, we, we became. Uh, we became the normal community. Uh, blended. We blended so <clears throat> well. We, and we moved on mm. for six years. Mm. Mm. Same values, same you know, principles being instilled in yourselves. Because it's the same setting. It's the same setting. Mm. But we also learned many other things. We learned to be stubborn. <laughs> oh. We learned to be cheeky. Yes. Uh, because we had walked in holier than thou. It's part of growing uh, up. We, we became stubborn. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. 
But yeah. it was all fun. That stage is it fun. It was fun. It, it is was good. fun. It was fun. But I, you learn along the way. But it was so strict mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, girls, in molding girls, that was the best environment for girls. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. To hold them in line until they're out of danger uh -huh. of... Uh, of uh, the stage. Genetic, mm. gene, ge, genes, mm. uh, growing up, mm -hmm. and all that turbulence of yeah. adolescence. Yeah, yeah. And then, then I went to university. To university. Mm -hmm. Probably uh, government scholarship. Those uh, were the days where yes, you still yes, enjoyed, yes. you know, free we, we, education we had, much. The year I mm. went to university, <coughs> Namagunga is, is, was the best school in the country it is still the best uh, one of the that best. was the starting point uh, okay for us being on top mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we have never stopped you have never stopped yeah. indeed yeah and um so this the biggest young... thing of formation mm. what i liked about namagunga then was formation but mm. when i go back to namagunga these days i can see things I've shifted a little. I, I see things mm. which are not good. Mm. I see class. Mm -hmm. If you ever walked into Namagunga with that class uh -huh. thing, hey. we would beat you down. Yeah, because. But now I mm. see class. When I go there, I see I can. Security I'm able to see security. Mm. I see uh, who is who, who and what. Uh -huh. For us, you are just girls having fun. Having fun. Yeah. That was the best. So that is really what mm. shaped me. Then mm. I walk into. Uh, into Makere University, I was being, I was offered um, a Bachelor of Arts in Social Work and Social Administration. Uh, mm. And I, I walked into there largely because by elimination, I didn't want to be a lawyer. My father had wanted me to be a, a health person like him. Uh -huh. I couldn't. Uh, uh, I didn't know what, where social work would lead me. For some me. reasons, we've always known you are a lawyer. Do you know the public of Uganda here thinks Salam is a lawyer? I something? am. I'm even better than them. Ah, okay. Did you train in lawyering? Did you train I in I married a work? lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. So I became a paralegal. Mm, 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 mm. But anyway, I have always um, admired lawyers mm. in their critical thinking. Mm -hmm. That's what I take from them. Mm. Uh, and also... Uh, uh, I think I was meant to be one. You should have actually. I meant to be mm. one because the things. But you at do. the time, at the time uh, when law, there was uh, law had a bad reputation. Being a lawyer had mm. a bad reputation. They were the crooks. They were the they thieves. They were the thieves. Mm. They were the liars. liars. They were the what? You and know. I still they are they Dealers. are they are getting into that reputation <laughs> again. I wanted to be. I always wanted to be a people person. Okay. I wanted to serve a community. Mm. I wanted to transform community. Somehow. I wanted to build a community. Mm. I wanted to build the inner, the software of a community. Wow. And that's still what drives me. Absolutely. Yeah. That's me as so well. So I did social mm. work and mm. social administration. Mm. I excelled at it. I was among the top four. Mm -hmm. uh, the best two girls. Unfortunately, the lady with which with whom I shared the accolade mm -hmm. did not make it to graduation. Why? She oh, she died. passed on. Sorry. She died. Mm. So I remained alone in that class. Yeah. So you were an academic giant. I so was, to say. and so I meant to stay in Makere and be a lecturer. I hoped so. Why didn't you? I actually stayed there and was a, teach, a teaching a tutorial assistant. That's mm. what they used to call us. I was a tutorial assistant. Mm -hmm. Many of my students are PhDs now. Right now. Mm -hmm. So what exactly happened? Then this I would be a professor a now. I would have been, but it was too dull for me. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. I wanted action. I had too much energy. Energy. I wanted to change Practical society things. yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. And I wanted to be part of that winning team mm -hmm. that transformed society mm. because we had the knowledge and the tools on our fingertips. Yeah. And I had the will. Post and I had been prepared mm, for it mm, all along mm, through my journey. Mm, mm, mm. So, but I wasn't a politician. You know. So, I was this quiet girl. In fact, many of my, 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 my colleagues wonder what happened to Salam. <laughs> <laughs> She's totally different. She's, the, she's not the one we were with at school. And I tell them, yes, I got annoyed. Annoying I was sick. Annoyed. Mm. I got sick and tired of being led by miserable lots. Who knew quarter of what we knew and who did not, uh, who were not prepared in offering leadership mm. that transforms a society. But we I'm could actually also in Namagunga. Mm. In Namagunga, if you scanned the whole ages, you will find only Salam as a politician. 
Mm-hmm. The girls I don't know. go for that. Hey. Oh, they want to be in safe territory. <laughs> Professionals. That's we have our platforms. They are professionals. Girls in girls they are professionals. Mm. No, it's good. Mm. They are professionals. They are succeeding elsewhere. In, but not in politics. But not in politics. I said I'll be your ambassador. Yeah, that's a loss for I us. want to be your ambassador <laughs> in politics. We would love to have those and, professionals and in politics. You know, mm. uh, when they are doing career uh, career guidance, uh, even my school will not invite me. Ah. For me to share this with the girls, ah. you know, they're missing out. Uh, they don't even want to own me. It's like they're at arm's length. Eh? Wow. Uh, I'm not good enough because I'm in politics. You're in I am politics. perfect. You are not in a... Sisters, yeah. I am perfect. Uh, uh, I'm no, perfect. They're missing out. And certainly. they don't know what they're missing. Yeah. If you want to transform society, this Get is the place. Get into politics. Get on the table. Mm. Get on the table. Mm-hmm. Break the table. Or overturn them. Correct. Yeah. So that's what I do. Okay. That's the business I'm in. Now I Heavy get it. Heavy duty politics. Mm, but I don't do say. I don't mm. do simple politics. Uh-huh. 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 Heavy duty because that is the missing niche. You know how people like to be petty, petty small, 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 small uh-huh. subsistence. Uh-huh. I don't do subsistence politics. I do the heavy duty politics Lifting that is going to hard, transform you know. society. Okay. That is where that is we are going address. to. But I could also safely conclude to say politics is a calling because looking back where you came from, nobody mm. could tell that you would en- end up in politics. <laughs> Actually, I had uh, issues with my father. Uh-huh. For a, a, a bit of time, uh, he didn't like what I was doing mm. because he had wanted me to be a doctor and mm-hmm. I said, no, I mm. can't. He said, why? I said, because I'm a coward. I can't even immunize. I can't go for <laughs> immunization. I even in fear injections. I know. Uh, but, uh, I can't. I can't look at a My dead body, body I can't very look easily. at a dead body. Mm. I can't. I mm. am. I am. Uh, I am. I am. Uh, I engage my my. I'm so sympathetic mm-hmm. that mm. I can't be a solution. Mm. 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 So he said, "What do you want to be?" I said, "I don't know, but I know what I don't want." So most of the times, you don't know what you want to be, but at least you don't. You know what you don't want to be. Mm. That's interesting. Because we are trying to trace this journey. You are trying to tell mm. kids to be this. Mm-hmm. Maybe they are not yet made up their minds. Yeah. Allow them to navigate, to but at it. least have parameters of what is it that they don't want to be. Mm. Mm. So that Get is it me. out of the way. Get it out of the mm. way. I knew what I didn't want to be, but I didn't know what I wanted to be. Okay. So then... You're I, done uh, with this course I at did, university? I, I do that course. Uh, my professor, I, I, I actually believed I was an ordinary person, mm-hmm. but my professor saw in me a special person, mm. Professor <coughs> Muzal, Patrick. Okay, so we'll get there to the mainstream politics of your life. I would like just to Mm-mm. conclude on that part. Of I went for a first career degree mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in Nottingham. Mm-hmm. I got a master's degree in planning. Wow. In, in social policy and right administration. Right after the first degree. Two years two after. Two years after. Okay. But in Nottingham, the, the course was not as challenging as I thought. Mm-hmm. And so I complained to my lecturers. I said, look, I have too much time on mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I need to use it. Mm-hmm. And so they enrolled me into physical planning. Again. So I was doing two degrees. At the same time. At the same time. I qualified. I got a. I got a, a qualification for one. And then the which other, which I'd paid for, <laughs> which is policy and social so policy and planning. You have always been but cantankerous. The one, yes. But the one of it, no, I can't take shit. Ah, I can't. So what happened anywhere. with the second one? The second one is here. It's working for you, though. It works for me. All right. Yeah. Okay. It's not the paper, but it's, it's working. It's not the paper. It's here. Mm-hmm. Fiscal planner. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I was uh, I was together with fiscal planners from uh, from Zambia, mm. from Malawi, mm. and it was such a very so it was rural development and fiscal planning. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, my first job was for Red Cross. I worked for Uganda Red Cross Society, mm-hmm. but my first assignment was with the uh, International Federation of the Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies. They are all Red Crosses, but there are three types. Okay. Mm. Mm. There's the International Committee of the Red Cross. Mm-hmm. There's the International Federation of the Red Cross mm-hmm. and Red Crescent Societies. Then there's the National Society, which is called Uganda Red Cross Society. Wow. You got the right job 
for the qualification you had, the passion you had, working with people, working and with I communities. Was, and I was, uh, I was the one that set up the AIDS control, HIV AIDS program. Program. And the Red Cross. Red Cross. Okay. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. And so that the 10 years I served with the Red Cross under the late Peter Riema mm -hmm. and uh, Dr. Ricky and um, Steve Hobbs, uh, Sorenson, all those people, that community, that international NGO community also shaped me. Mm. I was working with, uh, uh, with uh, Dr. <coughs> uh, Dr. Sam Mokware. Okay. Dr. Warren Namara. Mm, mm. And uh, that one is still popular. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Louis Ochero. Okay. The Guy Fubas, mm -hmm. the Chebambes. Mm. It, was, it was lovely. Wow. Uh, so I, I, I had a, a decade of that. You had a good grounding. My last assignment was in Koboko. District. Uh, actually, it was the game changer for me. At the border. At the border. The Sudanese, uh -huh. their perpetual, non-ending uh, wars, conflict, quarrels, prone, quarrels, problems. Uh, oh. Yeah. They came running down. Mm. It must have been 93 or somewhere. 90, 92. Round about there. 92. Mm. Mm. So uh, a, a delegate came in from Geneva and they asked me to to to. to to lead that delegate to, to the reception center in Koboko. Mm -hmm. We had to ensure that we, we provide uh, AIDS education, AIDS prevention education, mm. so that uh, AIDS does not become uh, a, hot, a hot health issue, issue in the country. In the camps. Mm. In the in camps. The camps. Mm. We had to defend because then at that time, Uganda was the epicenter. Absolutely, okay. because we just come out of the AIDS. We, we, mm. we were the epicenter mm. of HIV mm. AIDS. Mm. So I went up there in Koboko, and uh, there's a standard operating procedure. Mm -hmm. People are people, they are basic statistics. <laughs> Those are the rules. At the reception center, there, there came this rich man. You only needed to look at him to know that he was a man of class, a man of of status, mm. and he was the regional uh, health officer, Ooh. Juba. Wow, okay. We had successfully resettled him. He had his tent. Ah. You were only statistics, a number. Ah. You had a tent, your, your patients had another tent next to you. So we got, and I knew this guy had money. He looked. Uh, he, he looked had, the mm, money. Mm. I knew he had plastic money. But he is humbled but by the he has been humbled mm. by a refugee situation. Imagine. At, his, uh, at, at, he, at, he, at the corner of his tent, uh, there was a very enterprising uh, refugee mm. who had run away with equipment a maize meal. <laughs> <laughs> from wherever he from wherever came from. From wherever, or how, I don't okay. know. But it was such a, a service to the community because mm -hmm. they needed to grind food. Mm -hmm. And so this, uh, this uh, diesel machine was making noise. Mm -hmm. uh, this dignified man was not sleeping. I know. That, that touched me. I said, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Life can humble you. You mean we can get to this extent? Uh-huh. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. But also I had put in my 10 years in Red Cross. I said, look, enough. I'm mm -hmm. not going to issue tents saucepans, plates, I'm not going and, to cups. Be, plates and cups, <laughs> uh, counting uh, refugees. Uh, I am stopping right here. Okay. I am going to the source of, of this the, problem. Ah. I am going to end refugees, internally displaced people. <laughs> this must come to an end. This cannot be a trade uh -huh. that we wait for destabilized regions and we wait for people and running receive. and receive them. Mm. Let me go upstream mm -hmm. where we must stop the conflict. The conflict and the problems and to the society. Problems yes, that uh -huh. bring people running. Mm, 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 mm. That the 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 values life that the 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 decapitates communities. Wow. From 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 Koboko. Uh huh. I said enough. That was the spark. That was the spark. Everyone has that moment. Why that for politics? me was the spark. Mm, 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 I, I was mm. disturbed when I came back. 
And then my father, by coincidence, came to see me the next Tuesday and said, you know what? I have been asked by the elders mm -hmm. to invite you to come and participate in, um, in the constituent assembly. Yeah? Just like that? Just like that. They said, look, we are, we are short of we are Women? going to compete with the Baganda because the Bagandas are the ones who That's are your father the now center. talking. My father, yes. Ah. And he says, I've been sent by the community. He hey. hasn't come to interest me. Okay. They have had a discussion with the community uh, leaders and said, Your daughter has just come back from, from, from Nottingham. We want to showcase our best in you girls. You see the advantage of education? Yes. Yeah. And, uh, and we think that she can be of help. Mm. She can be of service to mm -hmm. us. So go and interest her to come. Opportunity knocked. It wasn't opportunity to it serve. It was. Because so, of, yeah, opportunity to serve. The opportunity to serve, yeah. yes. It must be qualified. Okay. Because mm. it's like walking into, uh, 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 yeah, when you say opportunities, like <laughs> people, has won, people have won a lot. You're more. vulgarizing it in a <laughs> Ugandan way. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> okay, I, I gave a commitment to my father, and she had, he had been sent from DP mm. because my father is from DP. Okay, and so he asked me to to listen to mm. the elders. I, I I gave him my word that I would be there. So when the elders uh, uh, consulted me, uh, they said they wanted me to contest as a woman. Constituent Assembly delegate for Kamali District. I said, why? Uh, because I think it was my father. Mm -hmm. Because they believed that I would be good. You'd be good, certainly. I come from a good, mm, good source. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they said, so I asked them, who else is competing? Mm. They said UPC would bring mm -hmm. because it was residual. Mm. It was uh, no party, no but party, under, but still. Uh, under, mm. under, under there. One there party was, state or something. Under there, there, was, there were party interests. Mm. Mm. So I told my father, I'll come back to you. Uh, let me think about it. But when, when, I, when I went back, I asked him, how big is the district? How is the electoral system? Uh, this was a district which now had Ka Ka Kamuli, Kaliro, and Vuyende. Quite big. It was too big. Mm, I said, mm. I don't have that energy. Mm, mm, mm. I, don't, I don't have that body, physical energy to walk through the community. To canvas for those. votes. In those. Yeah. I, I can't. Mm. Because I was, uh, I was raising a family. Young family at a that time. A young family. Mm. I had uh, family obligations. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, very demanding I, I, job. I could not. Mm. I was honest with them. I said, I can't. And then they said, then I asked, what else is there? Mm -hmm. They said, well, the constituency is for men. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I said, which one? Bugabla at that time was one Bugabla. Uh -huh. And it was being served by... Not North and South. Not North mm. and South. Not North, North and South. And, south. Mm. and it was being uh, represented by one John Sebastian Majimbi. Mm -hmm. So now they had split it into north and south. So I asked, mm -hmm, well, what is there? They said, now uh, Gabula has been split. I asked, uh, the incumbent is where? They said that incumbent is in Bugabla North. So Bugabla South is vacant, isn't it? I said, uh -huh. yes. I said, that's where I'll go. It's empty. It's empty? Yeah. And uh, it's four sub-counties. Mm -hmm. I can go around. Mm -hmm. They said, mm -hmm. no, again, for the district. We, we had wanted you for a woman. I said, well, if I'm eligible for a man, I'm available. Okay. So that's how I got into politics. Right. So you uh, got in I at the same the time job. with the Right Honorable Speaker? No, the, she was the, there in NRC. NRC. In NRC. And in NRC, she had uh, opted to go and contest for Zaya. Ah, county. County. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, 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 the district was vacant. Mm. I chose to go for Bugabla oh, South. South. So the two parallel roads. So that's chosen. how I ended up in Bugabla South. Okay. And uh, it was such a lovely campaign. Now, that's the part of life that many Ugandans know. Mm -hmm. The politics proper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. From CA up to... Um, up till deathbed. What do you mean? Until I die. Okay. Mm. You are still in this thing, in Correct. other words. I love it. 
yeah, it's I, my passion. It is your passion. Mm. It is your passion. And I'm not in need for money. I'm mm. not in need mm. for money. No. Okay, so I'm now in need for I, I, I would like you just to help a woman out there about mm. the politics, choosing a constituency, choosing politics. Why politics even in the first place? Just that discussion on why politics is important and why as women we must be at the center. You see, yeah. unless you want to be in a refugee camp, mm. if you want to be at the periphery of society, women and the best women leave these groups, but the best women, the best mothers, must be at the governance table. You can say that and emphatically so. I want to say it yeah. again and mm. again and mm. again, mm. that the best of our women must be at the table and with humility. Mm -hmm. You know, us professionals have that, hmm? that air. But it's not about women only, it's general. No, let's talk about women. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about women. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a woman mm. and I was that too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But for me, I was so loved by the community that the elders took me aside, put me aside and said, Salam, you're good. But we don't like this and this. You must have people who mm. mentor you, people who take you aside and talk to you straight in mm. your face. They said, we don't like this. Mm. Mm. You can't walk alone. No, they said, Salam, we like you. But one, stop bragging about who you are. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Mm -hmm. We know you went to school, but please don't throw it in our faces. In our faces. And they were bold. And they were bold. They told ah. me. Uh, for me, that's how I deal. I deal straight. Okay. If you come in corners, I don't have the time. You are straight up. So I said, yes, mm. that one I'm willing to do. Okay. Turn down. I said, yes. Turn down on what? You know, we talk. Elitist. Elitist. We talk on top of our voices. We know everything. Yesterday, yeah. we want to we tell brag, these we, local person. We, you want to. Mm. No, no, no. Mm. They said, we don't like it. Mm -hmm. I said, okay. Okay. They said, we don't like the way you dress. Hey. I said, why? So where, what were you dressed they in? Said, suits and what? Suits, mm, what? Mm. Every time I sit down, I would cross my leg. They said, oh, no, 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 never cross your leg. That's why you'll never see me cross Isn't my leg. Isn't that the same socialization of, you know, women, these things? But, but you see, if you are offering le leadership, uh, uh, what does it cost you? Cost me mm. not to cross my legs. Oh, yeah? And so I stopped crossing ah. my legs. And they said, they don't want to see me dressed in trousers. Mm -hmm. I can't. I've never, never seen you in a trouser. I wear actually. trousers, yes, huh? but not in not public. Not in public because I'm forbidden. <laughs> not in public. Not in public. Okay. Then they also told me uh, that I should always wear in public. They want to see me fully dressed as the Msoga woman. Hey. That is the one they, they relate now. to. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, it's okay. Let's let's so continue. anyway. Mm. Um. They reshaped me. They reset me. They mentored you. They Imagine. reset me because you hmm. see, uh, th there's this air of self made me, myself, myself and, and I. And I. Mm. Uh, when you're working in a community, you must cut the you sharp must edges. Cut that down. So, those uh, people were so kind to me, I really never stopped mm -hmm. thanking them mm -hmm. because who else would have told me? Wow. They wow. didn't backbite wow. me. Wow. Wow. They talked to they me talk straight. To you. They worked with you. They worked with me, mm -hmm. and I toned down. I set up structures, and uh, I worked with them. You worked with them. Yeah. Now these three terms, I could say three because CA, then sixth parliament, and seven. Those were the parliaments that we all recognize as Ugandans were very agile, good, smart. Mm. Why? Because it was a one party state at that time not exactly that's my assumption no mm. we were good is that so we but I were think wonderfully good. the reasoning is that the parties were not encumbering people in you know in their debate in their decision making how does a that. party lead you to steal opportunity for ugandans it depends it doesn't okay you can let us say not more about find that. reasons mm. of failure the failure is personal the failure is institutional mm -hmm. the failure is community the failure is national the failure is environmental okay let me tell you mm. the biggest lessons i've learned in life are when i didn't succeed because i didn't succeed 
uh, for CA. Mm -hmm. My people loved me so much, but the system did not defend their their their, 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 their interest choice, or their, their choice. choice. Mm. And that is why they 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 had learned their lessons at CA that they swore over their dead bodies that nobody would ever cheat them again. Mm. That's why I became the first member of parliament for Gavla County South. In the sixth parliament. In now. the sixth parliament. Mm. Mm. And you know, the, the, the thing was, the, the person I was con contesting with was so big. In terms of the name, <gasps> In stature. the name, stretcher, yeah. everything. Mm. Mm. Up till mm. now, I grew good pimples just thinking <laughs> how I did it. Little you at how, that time. I was size unknown. 12. Size 12. Oh. I was I was I was known by my father. I was Only. my father's daughter. And your clan. Mwala watom, mm -hmm. Mwala watom. Mm -hmm. That is all. Mm -hmm. You see what a good name does? Yeah. I really hope my mm -hmm. name will work, will, for, your will work for my children. For your and boys, children. actually. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I keep telling them mm -hmm. that my biggest asset is me. Mm -hmm. Very important. Yeah. Very important. So anyway. I want some lessons in there. When I lost, mm -hmm. uh, I was... By the way, I was so happy. That you lost? Yes. By the time I left campaign trail, I was so exhausted. <laughs> I was so tired. How would someone ha be happy for a loss? Because I was going to sleep. I was going home to sleep. Let's you can say imagine. at that time you were I was not... so exhausted. Hmm? It, it wasn't It wasn't you a do not or so die. You were not so much in it. Listen, mm. it wasn't a do or die. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wanted to serve. You're going to serve. I was going to serve. Mm -hmm. uh, the opportunity was, was hijacked. Okay. I, I don't have to kill nobody mm. about it. And the thing I was dying for was to sleep. I was missing my sleep. Oh, God. <laughs> I went to back to work. Okay. I went to sleep. Mm -hmm. I, I, I also wanted to be alone. Mm. I was missing myself. Your me time. The because family. you see... I used to be, it takes you out of yourself, mm -hmm. it, 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 it captures you, and you become a property of the Obadas. public. And I wasn't mm. prepared for it mm -hmm. mentally. Mm -hmm. So I missed myself. I missed the fun. I used to go out with, uh, with my buddies every weekend. I, used to, I, I wasn't having that. Mm. So mm. I was missing me. Uh, but that also tells you that I wasn't ready. You were not ready. That's what I was going to say. I wasn't ready. At that time, I mentally, ready. spiritually, I wasn't ready. You were not. I knew that I wanted to go and be part of of, of this new constitution of, 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 of creating the Uganda we want. Mm. That was my drive. Mm. An opportunity has shown itself to 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 rebuild Uganda. a nation. Mm. I wasn't there at Lancaster. I wasn't there at independence. at independence. Now an opportunity mm -hmm. has come mm. at my time. That oh. was my drive. Profound. So when it didn't happen, I mm. said, fine. There'll be another There'll day. There'll be another time. Managing loss is the biggest uh, pitfall for many leaders. But you've been at it many times so far now. That is my biggest so strength. So that's why... That's you, my biggest strength. You... And that's why you mm. see many people who come into politics, who, uh, just one, one loss... And they are dead. They are dead. Dead forever. Can you speak a little about that? Because you may not get back to that. You see, mm. uh, well, you get time to reflect. Yeah, you know, you get time to reflect. You get time to look back. Uh, what, how, what could I have done better? Mm -hmm. uh, what next? And, uh, because what politicians don't know is that today you are a member of parliament. Tomorrow, as sure as the... <laughs> You know, the day follows or it night. The, it's the next destination. The next destination. The so next you have to plan and prepare. That's why you must mm. prepare a country in which you will retire. Ah. Don't stand there on the pedestal mm -hmm. as if you belong to another country, Uganda A, and the rest of us in Uganda B. Okay. No, we are in one are Uganda mm. and we are one people. Prepare the bed in which you sleep. And you have to lay it earlier. Mm. God oh, be lucky. That's very nice. Okay, Honorable, I would like you to capture a little bit of 7th Parliament. Your name was sounding, resounding and sounding and resounding all over Uganda. Let me tell you about my leadership. Mm. When I ask for a job, I do it. 
you do it. I'm well. never half half. You know what has killed uh, leadership in this country is that people are doing things half half. Mm -hmm. They are in politics for the wrong reasons. Okay. They are in leadership for the wrong reasons. For the wrong well. reasons. Mm. You can imagine people. There are people who are excited by the color of a passport. <laughs> Just to travel. <laughs> Just the color of a passport. The green. Uh, green and uh -huh. red. Okay. And for me, I say, what, what is, is that? There? Mm. The class of, 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 of travel, first class, business, and economy. And that is you exciting understand. to somebody. Listen, I am on the same plane, sir. <laughs> Whether I am in the back or at Whatever the front. I'm seated, I am on the plane. Okay. When there is a crash, will we they say go. the first class, uh, the first class uh, uh, passengers <laughs> exit? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so you I'm do your best. I'm able to draw the difference. Mm. And um, mm. simplicity. I have grown up what uh, the nuns mm -hmm. who I really uh, pay tribute to, the little sisters of St. Francis of Assisi. Uh, they imparted in us that 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 value of simplicity. simplicity i saw it i can see you it know? in you simplicity mm. uh the value of humility mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh the value of my neighbor mm. because in the magunga you were seated at the table in secondary and then there was a dish of food on coming from one side and another of sauce coming from one side and you had to measure that there are four potatoes. There are 11 of us on this table, but there are four potatoes. We grew up in a, in a, in a life of, uh, of, uh, of scarcity. Mm, mm. So these four potatoes must be now shared. Shared. Ah, There's a cup of, of, of what? Of, tea of beans. Or whatever. That has to cross from that table to this to one. Another table. So equity comes naturally for me. Mm. Thinking about the other next. Other people. Other people yeah. have you eaten. Mm. Who, uh, let us not finish things uh -huh. for others. Mm -hmm. It comes as a way of You're course. always looking I, out I, for On others. our platform of Namagunga, one of the girls uh, wrote about it again. And, and I, I was feeling just nostalgic. Mm. That impacts in you. That Very there important. is enough for, for all of us. Right. For everyone. So that's why I will not steal people's money to go and buy a shoe. Ah. No. Yeah. I will not steal people's money to buy a dress. Mm -hmm. A dress. Mm, 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 mm. I cannot subvert democracy because I want to be on top of the line. No. You I have can to go it. I will follow mm, the steps. The 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 the, the, the right the, channels. The, the, the sequence. Of, of nature. In any case, I, I did not grow up 60 years. Ah. <laughs> I was zero years at some point. Wow. So I grow through it, I mature into it, and that natural, the natural leadership that flows with it. Mm -hmm. But when you see mm -hmm. people jumping queues, people hopping and stepping and standing on the table, that's why they commit so many mistakes. And I watch them, I say, look at that one. They think they've arrived. Salam, they will but, walk down, uh, they will mm -hmm. fall with a thud. <laughs> Oh, I'm afraid we have hope, to run. I hope, I hope they don't have to fall with the Yes. Cash. You have just a few minutes uh, to wrap up a few things. I yes. would like just to pick some lessons, some yes. you know, key values, key things you could say. I know we cannot exhaust your interview in one hour. Mm. I need to bring you back to continue from where we have. So, uh, so from there, yeah. we'll Let's start from Parliament. This. Yeah, you'll start from <laughs> Parliament on the next program. But yes. to wind up today, yes. let's just uh, hear from you. A few things, thoughts, you know, you could leave with our viewer today. Yeah. The late Boniface Bianima, mm. in one of his lectures, in his mentoring sessions with the young people, said, never pick your leaders from mm. the street. From the street? No. What did he mean? It means you must prepare your leaders. Right. Yeah. So that is a big lesson we have to do. And that's what I, I love to do in, uh, in the political party mm -hmm. as a platform, mm -hmm. to prepare leaders. And that's what you're doing right now. That's what I'm doing now. And that's what I want to ask others to do. Wow. OK, uh, dear our viewer, I want to thank you so much. I know Honorable Salam Musumba is a super, super woman. <laughs> we cannot capture her in just one hour or even 45 minutes. So we'll have to go 
on this one sign out at this point but then I'm going to bring her on the part B of her story because we cannot miss out the things that she's been able to do in politics proper. There is a part C yeah, as well. There could be a part her, C. I, her, I'm, the, I'm a very privileged leader who mm. has served at the national level mm -hmm. and the district level. At the district level. So we the don't want to miss that. The district level is another mm. chapter. Absolutely. That I wish if I could get my pen. Mm and write about it. Yeah, I will challenge you on that. Yeah. You need to write a book because a lot of politicians, great women that have worked before, mm. generally great leaders who are women, we mm. have no time to write our stories. I will make time to write. Yeah. But uh, I will use technology too. I want to do a podcast mm -hmm. uh, of different parts, mm. aspects mm. of mm. life. Mm. 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 And uh, for the lazy ones, you know, we Africans are lazy. Sometimes you want to watch Papa quick, quick. Leaders, they want... <laughs> they're, 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 That's the generation. No, you, you go nowhere. Okay. So after that, where have you gone? Mm -hmm. Slow down. Slow down. And uh, know the value of each. Uh, my biggest asset is that I love reading. Okay, we shall build and on And I that. want, I will only write mm. if you promise me they'll read. They will read. They Thank will you. read, certainly. We Thank will you. read when you produce Thank that. You. And Thank my you. role is to challenge you all senior leaders On to do that. On my day of the 60th, 60th birthday. And I, I mean, I wish yes. you were sharing with us a book on that I'll day. That. It would be powerful. So we'd like to sign out from here and we shall come back to you with part B and C. I promise that, of Honorable Salam, Proskovia Salam Musumba. The and my mighty... other name is Knight. <laughs> Knight. That Correct. one we don't know about that. <laughs> I will tell okay. you about that one too. In the next program. All right. Yes. Thank you so much for being with us up to this point. Until we meet again, shalom. Mm -hmm.